Gan, are you listening to me? Do what I say, and Artorius will fall. I have no patience to watch the people suffer while he dithers. I gazed upon the divining treasure, and it showed me the land will wither under his rule. The old way, the old king, is gone. This toothless bear lets too many foes nip at his heels. The people need a new, strong sword to follow. Once I sabotage his armor, the next friendly duel he accepts will be his last. If only Mallory would see there is another way. The Fraudling Magic holds the key to getting what we want, without hurting anybody. You are meeting a Spriggan here? I will not treat with those dishonorable savages. It is potent magic of darkness and shadow. You have my reward. Foul creature. Your reward will be my blade.
return to ashes! Morganth, take the horned crown and hide it away. I must go and ensure Artorius's armor is not fit for battle. If for whatever reason my plan is spoiled, then you must use the horn crown to enslave the king. Brother, if your plan goes awry, I, I cannot live on in Avalon without you. The horned crown contains a power I've not encountered in any of Merle Ambrose's teachings. It twists and turns by itself. I wonder if Ambrose has any theory of it inscribed in his tomes of forbidden knowledge. Go, little sister, and prepare. I will see you when all of this is done and but a memory. Are you recovered from the first dream? Enter the second chamber of the mine. Another time, another place, another dream. Remember, these are true things, but Morgant's age and temperament color them. <laughs>